Shanxi province is filled with fields of grain, so it is no surprise that grain is the source of the region's greatest culinary treasures. The first is noodles, the second is distilled wine, but that's just the beginning. Here's another treasure of Shanxi, vinegar, the stuff they make here. Donghu Vinegar Factory is famous for its quality. If you read Chinese, that means the best vinegar in China, number one in China. The main ingredient is a grain called sorghum. They also use local peas and barley, yeast for fermentation, and barley and millet powder. You mix all that together, steam and water, and then let nature take its course as the fermentation process begins. Look at this, all these are fermentation container here. You open it up, you can see this is the sorghum fermentation material. Ah, after six to eight days of fermentation, mm, you can see the bubble keep on coming up. Alcohol. Wow, you can be totally intoxicated here. Once the fermentation is complete, the filtered vinegar is aged under the watchful eye of a master. Let me introduce you to the premier vinegar expert in China, Guo Zhong, Chairman Guo. Ah, he knows everything about vinegar because he has been making vinegar for very many, many years. Let's check this out. Ah, yi dian dian, go la. Hmm. Delicious. This is three-year aged vinegar, but like fine wine, there are even older vintages to try. This is a vinegar tasting, three years brew. Very nice, three years. This is five years. Five years. A little bit richer, more aromatic. Mmm, okay. This is more pure. This is eight years. Eight years. Absolutely exquisite. The eight years is definitely better than the three year. And the three year is better than, less than good than the five year. That means the longer it is, the better if you preserve it, if you store it properly. This is the final bottle products. Three year aged vinegar. Five year, 10 year aged vinegar. Precious. In this factory, they've been making vinegar since 1368, the first vinegar factory in China. For centuries, Shanxi vinegar has been used for health as well as flavor. It is shipped all over China and all over the world. So let's see what we can cook up with this Shanxi treasure. You know what? The Shanxi people. Rather you lost their furniture, lost their car, they will never want to give up their vinegar. Here at the Guilhor restaurant, Chef Lao is going to make a couple of signature specialties that showcase the flavor of Shanxi vinegar. He starts by sprinkling it on a fresh caught yellow river cup. You dip this into this batter with egg, flour, oil, and a tiny bit of salt. Coat the entire fish. Now, we'll put in hot oil and deep fry it. You gotta use medium heat, okay? The reason why you score the fish on both sides is it makes it easier to cook evenly. It smells good. The batter and the fish together. Wonderful smell. Look at that. Beautiful, golden brown. Now it's time to make a sweet and sour sauce for the fish. Chopped garlic, tomato paste, Then put a tiny bit of salt, balance the flavor, tiny bit of sugar. Tiny bit of Shanxi black malt vinegar, put it right there, just enough. Oh, look at that. Shanxi, yellow river fresh water cup with black malt vinegar. Now for a modern twist on local flavors, succulent diced roast lamb over some very unusual noodles. 
Let me show you. It's actually a hold down as a roll. You roll it up like this. Roll, 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 and you put it right over here. Then you steam it. You steam it, and after you steam it, you put it over here. You put it right on the plate. Ah, right here. Ah, that is the amazing noodle base. Now for the lamb. Put garlic again. Always use garlic. Garlic is a very important seasoning. Ah, lamb butter. Very, very aromatic. And then the roast lamb, dice, roast lamb. Vinegar. And then the lamb broth, clear lamb broth to make a broth out of this. Ah. A little crisp lettuce over the roll noodles. And then the wonderfully aromatic stir fry lamb. Mmm, beautiful. Ah, look at that. Very unique dish. Never seen this before. Only in San Si you can enjoy something like this. It's a noodle dish. Amazing. Today, we have a vinegar banquet. That means every single dish is prepared with vinegar. Look at this fish. The fish that Chef Lao just prepared for us in the kitchen. The best freshwater fish I've ever tasted. Sweet and sour, savory, all the flavor, layers of flavors. Mmm. Dip it in extra sun sea vinegar. Mmm. Tastes even better. Even the drink is made with vinegar. Fruit flavor, malt vinegar drink. Mmm. Ah, tastes like apple cider vinegar. Love it. From the grain fields of Sanxi to the vinegar breweries, to the kitchen and the table, Sanxi vinegar may be pungent, but it's truly one of China's sweetest culinary treasures.